now let's start the topic of laplace transform its application in order to find out the laplace transform of complex waveforms after synthesis normally in the exams you are asked to find out its laplace transform as well so first of all what is laplace transform laplace transform of mathematically it can be stated laplace transform of any signal xt is equal to xs denoted by xs is equal to 0 to infinity xt e raised to the power of minus st dt this is a unilateral laplace transform and this is what we will be doing under the condition 0 to infinity modulus of xt e raised to the power of minus sigma t dt is less than infinity where Sigma is the real part of S. S is complex frequency. In mathematics, you might have done it as Laplace transform variable. It has two parts, Sigma plus J omega. So now we uh, start the topic of properties of Laplace transform. But before doing the properties, I would just like to uh, tell you the results of the Laplace transform of basic signals. So quickly let us see the results. I'll give you the results after doing the proper uh, derivation. Though derivations are not asked in the exam. So you can skip those derivations and uh, in the next slide when I'll come to the result you can just uh, memorize those results. But for those who wish to know how these results have come and those who have not paid too much attention in the Laplace transform while it was going on in uh, mathematics. So Laplace transform of basic signals. Laplace transform of delta t. Zero to infinity delta t e raised to the power minus st dt. Now as you know delta t value is existing only for t is equal to zero. And all other places its value is zero. So this integra integration just becomes a particular summation of value where you have the summation of all time less than 0, greater than 0 being equal to 0 and at t is equal to 0, delta t is 1. So 1 multiplied by e raised to the power of minus st. When t becomes a 0, e raised to the power minus st becomes 1. So 1 into 1 that is equal to 1 itself. So the first expression Laplace transform of delta t is equal to 1. If you have Laplace transform of 7 delta t, then obviously it will be equal to 7. Second is Laplace transform of ut. What was ut? Unit step signal having magnitude 1 for all time greater than or equal to 0 and 0 for time less than 0. So that becomes 0 to infinity 1 into e raised to the power minus st dt. Simple integration e raised to the power minus st by minus s limits from 0 to infinity which gives you minus 1 over s e raised to the power minus infinity minus e raised to the power 0 which is minus 1 over s 0 minus 1 minus minus becomes plus so on over s. Third is Laplace transform of RT. Draw the waveform RT. Slope is 1. This is RT. Which can be represented as T for T greater than 0 and 0 for T less than 0. So this becomes T e raised to the power minus ST dt which by eyelet rule First function is t, second function is e raised to the power minus st. We take the integration and put the values. Then we take the differentiation of first function that is t, differentiation of which gives you 1, and integration of e raised to the power minus st gives you e raised to the power minus st by minus s. When you put t is equal to infinity, this becomes 0 because it becomes e raised to the power minus infinity. When you put 
t is equal to 0, this becomes 0. So, the first term vanishes. Second term, minus and minus becomes plus, so 1 over s. And e raised to the power of minus st dt integral, you have just done here. The result was 1 over s. So, 1 over s into 1 over s becomes 1 over s square. Now, if you have Laplace transform of 70 ut, it will be equal to 7 over s square. Now, we come on to Laplace transform of e raised to the power of minus of alpha t. Exponentially decaying waveform starting from 1 at t is equal to 0. This is e raised to the power minus alpha t into ut. When you take its Laplace transform, 0 to infinity, e raised to the power minus alpha t, e raised to the power minus st. We don't write ut here because it has been taken into account by taking the integral from 0 to infinity, which is equal to 0 to infinity e raised to the power minus of s plus alpha into t dt which is equal to e raised to the power minus of s plus alpha t divided by minus of s plus alpha put the values from 0 to infinity and that will give you minus 1 over s plus alpha e raised to the power minus infinity minus e raised to the power 0 which becomes 1 over s plus alpha because this becomes 0, this becomes 1. Next term, Laplace of sin of omega t and Laplace of cos of omega t. Both of them we will be finding it in one step. First we will take the Laplace of e raised to the power of minus of a j omega t which will be equal to 0 to infinity e raised to the power minus j omega t into e raised to the power minus st dt which is 0 to infinity which is equal to, as per the result which we found right now, e raised power minus of alpha t. In, in place of alpha t, now we are having s plus j omega, just like here, s plus alpha. So that gives you 1 over s plus j omega. Now what is the value of la, e raised power minus j omega t? e raised power minus j omega t is cos of omega t minus j of sin omega t. So, Laplace of cos of omega t minus j sin omega t becomes 1 over s plus j omega. Anyone can suggest what is to be done next? Cut. Can anyone suggest what is to be done next? 1 over s plus j omega. We rationalize it. s minus j omega divided by s plus j omega into s minus j omega which is equal to s minus j omega divided by s square plus omega square remembering that j square is equal to minus 1. Equating a real part and imaginary part we get and example if you want to find out Laplace of sin 3t, that will be equal to 3 over s square plus 9. If you want to find Laplace of cos 6t, it is equal to s over s square plus 36. If you want to find Laplace of 5 sin 2t, that is equal to 5 into 2 over s square plus 4. That is equal to 10 over 
is a square plus 4k. If you want to find Laplace of minus 7 cos 40, it is equal to third one is Laplace of 5 sin 2t is 5 into 2 over s square plus 4 is 10 over s square plus 4. And Laplace of minus 7 cos 40 is equal to minus 7 s divided by s square plus 16. Having done the basic uh, signals Laplace transform, now we move on to the properties.